Hey, welcome to Moments with the Monsignor, another episode of the semi-exciting tour with Father Vasco around uh, the city of Toledo and more particularly in the rectory. Today we're beginning at the, we're up on the residential floor here at the uh, historic Church of St. Patrick. Uh, our rectory was built in 19... Uh, 16 uh, was the first time they moved in here. Has an interesting history, the historic Church of St. Patrick. Um, the priests were living in a back room in the school building. And they were quite comfortable there and they didn't want to uh, fuss and bother having a fancy house. Uh, and in 1910, we were made a diocese beginning around 1912. The bishop was wandering around trying to uh, check out all of his uh, parish property. And uh, he came to stay at uh, the historic Church of St. Patrick and they put him up in a schoolroom. Uh, he was not too happy and he said, build a rectory. And this was the result. It's a magnificent structure, a solid as a rock, uh, built for the ages as properties in those days were. Uh, there are several suites. The plan had been to have five priests living here at one time. And so I am in a, in a suite of rooms. It's uh, a bedroom and a sitting room. Uh, and it's dedicated to Father Ron Lejeune. Now, Father Ron was a, a priest of our diocese uh, for many years. He was a missionary in Mexico. Uh, the chalice that you would have seen at the beginning of today's episode uh, was a chalice he obtained while he was in Mexico, uh, made from local silver uh, by silversmiths down there with cloisonne, uh, uh, hard baked enamel uh, on the outside. Uh, he, he used that faithfully until the time of his death. Um, he had cancer in the jaw and while he was recovering, he came here to live with us uh, here at the historic church of St. Patrick and lived in this suite. Uh, kind of to honor his devotion to God and to God's people. And all the friendships that he made here at St. Patrick, we decided that this should be the Father Ron Lejeune Memorial Suite. <laughs> so therefore it is. Father Ron was probably one of the greatest fans of Ohio State that ever came down the pike. Uh, one did not want to sit too close to him during an Ohio State football game where the Buckeyes got behind. <laughs> One did want to be around to hear him cheering when the Buckeyes were ahead. Uh, he wasn't just a fan who watched. He was a fan who became involved, and not just up in the stands cheering and buying an expensive bottle of beer. He was down on the field. He knew all of the famous coaches at Ohio State. One of the last souvenirs that he purchased before he uh, decided he needed to get up into God's kingdom was this image of the five Ohio State coaches who he knew personally. He had hoped to take this image with him to Columbus to be part of his, his apartment down there, uh, but he never had the opportunity to get it. And here it is today, a kind of reminder here in the suite that uh, Father Ron's spirit lives on here at the historic Church of St. Patrick. As I might add, does the, uh, the memory of all of our pastors. Over the next many episodes, I'll be talking about some of those priests who gave their lives uh, to the service of the people of God here at the historic Church of St. Patrick. It's a beautiful parish with a tremendous uh, campus. I hope that uh, You'll join us for Mass on Sunday and be part of the community here at the historic Church of St. Patrick. Thanks for watching.